tape mellow-fi. It takes a song that sounds like this. And at the touch of a button, sounds like this. Hello, and welcome to this video teaching you how to use the Tape Mellow, giving you some demos of it, and also offering a review. The Tape Mellow Fi is a new plugin from Arturia. It's modeled off of the Mellotron, sort of the tape section and the preamp section, and it's a really, really fun, powerful new tool for making amazing lo-fi sounds, or even just adding that little bit of special sauce that your song needs. It's really straightforward and easy to use. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you kind of the three main sections of the Tape Mellow, as well as two killer feature buttons and um, give you all of that information you need to decide whether or not this is the right plugin for you. If you make lo-fi music or any type of music. Uh, but I do wanna let you know something really special. And that is that right now, ADSR Sounds is giving away the Tape Mellow 5 for free with the purchase of any plugin. Like, literally, they have plugins and loop packs for like 15 bucks. So if you were to get anything off of their site, you get this $99 plugin for free. I've included an affiliate link down below if you want to check out this deal and help support the channel. How does the Tape Mellow 5 work? Well, it's divided into three sections. You've got the preamp section with some tone shaping. You've got the tape emulation section, and you've got an output section with a built-in switchable high pass or low pass filter. And you've got the tape section, which includes a really cool tape stop sound. Uh, and then there's also the super powerful button that I'm gonna teach you about in a second. But let's just play around with the sections. So I wanna first show you what my drums sound like without any of the tape mellow action going on. Uh, obviously there's no EQ, there's nothing going on on this track but Tape Mellow. Um, and these drums sound horrible without Tape Mellow. But with it... That just slaps. Slaps. So, what are we doing to get this super cool vibe going on? Well, we're using a combination of the preamp, the tape, and low pass filtering, as well as that secret button I'm gonna teach you about. Uh, so let's first break all of these down. On the left, you've got the preamp section. So uh, here on the drive, that's basically how much input you're getting into it and how hard you're hitting the preamp with this switchable button here, which can lead to even more of a boost in the drive. A really cool thing about this plugin is that the output section is tied to the drive so you're not actually boosting the volume as you boost the drive it stays at a constant volume which really makes it much easier to experiment with and work with so let's turn the boost off and let's just experiment with drive and the tone section is off as well also turn off all the tape stuff and the filter so let's see It just becomes fatter, crunchier, a little slappier. And then let's try this boost function. You hear how that just starts to crunch and break up? Uh, totally useful on all sorts of things, but let's dial that back just a little bit. Get the peak. Do you hear what that's doing to like the attack of the kick? It's really making it almost pop out. Listen to just the kick right now that we've got it dialed in really well. I'll turn tape mellow on and off. So even if you don't use this for lo-fi, like tracks and tape wobble and all that cool stuff, this is just a really good flipping preamp to make your drums and a lot of other stuff hit harder. Next, let's enable this tone knob. And this basically is kind of just changing the color of the tape and the tone. Uh, it's a kind of like almost like a tilt EQ type thing. So darker on the left, brighter on the right. Boom. 
but a, a really nice range of sweepable tones. Uh, so you can quickly dial in your sound and then start moving to EQ from there. But another cool thing is you could automate this and do like transition effects and things like that. Next up, we also have this noise section, which sets the amount of tape noise that you'll hear. And so, I mean, there's definitely tracks you're going to want that for, for lo-fi tracks. But if you're not doing like a totally lo-fi vibe, but you still want to use the drive and the tone section, it's great. You don't need it. You don't need to have it sound noisy and lo-fi. This is also a really cool thing to use if you're going to be resampling the sounds you make, because it'll get all these kind of non-linear noises that come up when you start like chopping it up and it'll just sound really cool. So next up we have the tape and basically... Already to begin with, this is like kind of a degraded tape, but now we have the ability to um, degrade it even further. We'll turn the noise down just to something a little more manageable. Um, and so the flutter is basically these fast pitch variations. Almost like a flanging. And the wow is much bigger, but slower. And you can actually feel it like messing with the groove, which is kind of like a cool hack that you could uh, almost like create this like swing by using the wow feature. The wear is going to take like how degraded the tape is and we'll lose some high end, we'll lose some punch. And it's really thin. And so that can be the a thing, you know, again, another thing you could use to automate for buildups or breakdowns. Um, but it also just kind of helps you thicken up or thin out your sound if you've got, like, I mean, I don't think you'd want to, like, your drums to hit less hard in a lot of songs. You probably wouldn't use wear, but, like, maybe you want your bass to be thinner so the drums can sit on top of it or you got, like, a twinkly little piano part or something like that. And then finally we have the mechanical noise, which is, like, all the mechanical bits and pieces of the tape. It's also doing some weird panning stuff. So like if we were to just turn everything on max, let's see how awful this sounds in the best way possible. There's a lot you can do with it, but I want to show you um, one other really cool feature and one super secret hack. So we'll get a more reasonable sound. We've got the high pass filter. Let's take a little bit of that off. Oh, there's a tape stop effect and it's a really cool one, but there's also a really cool tape start effect. So like, there you go, you've got like, I mean, even just the tape stop effect is really cool and you can use it in a lot of different instruments for cool arrangement choices. So let's listen, and you can, I've, I went too quickly, but you can choose how long the stop and start is. Just a really cool and useful effect. Um, and actually there's multiple modes for starting as, or for start, starting up again. So there's either instant start. Or there is the sort of fast forward start, which you which is sort of that laggy 
version. But here's my favorite button, the stereo width button hid, hidden down here. Um, basically, what they say is slightly offsets the wow and flutter to widen the stereo image, but it just sounds really cool. So let's listen to it with it off. And it just adds a little extra sauce where things are kind of in unexpected places sometimes. So that's pretty much how you use it. It's super straightforward, like I said, uh, and you can quickly use this to dial in so much tone shaping and just get your song where you want it to go. Go from here. In an instant with these tools. One thing I'll note, just to give you the review of it, like I really like this. I think this is a really good lo-fi plugin for a lot of sounds, especially if you want to use it to start like resampling things. Uh, I think it provides a lot of the tools and I would totally recommend this. I'd say it's a five out of five for what it does. It is not versatile compared to other plugins that do like 30 different things, but it does this thing very well. Uh, that said, its retail price as a standalone plugin is $99, and I don't think it's worth $99 for this limited thing that it does very well. But, like I said, it's available for free with any purchase right now on ADSR, and it is definitely worth like getting another $15 plugin and getting this free, or you know, grabbing Oxford Inflator while it's on sale and grabbing this as well. That's 1,000% worth your money. This is also available as part of the Arturia um, Effects Collection version 3. That collection is insanely good. I use, I, I use them on every track I make, so to say that just having this added to it is totally worth it, and it will get work done even if you don't make those lo-fi sounds, right? We heard that preamp, and it can just add a lot of pump, punch, a lot of tone shaping. You've got this stereo widening effect, and then you've got this really cool tape stop or even if you're not making lo-fi music, this will all help contribute to your songs. Um, and if you do make lo-fi music, then this wow and flutter, or the wear, the mechanics, the noise are all going to be super helpful as well. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about Tape Mellow Fi in the comments below. And if there's any other pro uh, 